Domino were like about our, just about our favourite label, and we got a call from him, and we I mean I remember just like we were freaking out. Lawrence did put out the demo that we recorded in the end. I think Steve put it out first in America, and we went and did a tour in America for three months. It's kind of like as soon as all those phone calls started happening, our, our reaction to that was to leave the country for three months. People were really supportive, really, really good to us. We had such a good time there. I mean, there's a million things we can say about that tour, because I think that was definitely the happiest I mean, point in our lives. It's the weirdest thing, because like, we booked that tour of America, we booked two months in America on our own and when we started booking it we didn't even have a name for the band or anything and it transpired that we did like three three gigs in England and then we went to America. We had to buy a car, got insurance for both of us. I needed a driver's license, got a driver's license, got all the amps together and we went, bought a video camera which we were supposed to take back, but we never did. Just this is all on a credit card, right? There's no money behind it, really. I mean, the whole thing for me was the most nerve-wracking thing because I left London and I've been signing on, and it was like, you know, it's not much money. You don't get much money on the dole, but it's like regular income. When we decided to go on tour, that was it. That for me was like the cut-off where I wasn't going to get any more dole money. So like I, I, you know, I fly to America in these circumstances and the next minute I'm completely like out of the frying pan into the fire. It was weird because we'd kind of got word of mouth that there was this word of mouth thing going on and that people actually liked our band, which just seemed ridiculous to us because we'd only been like going for two months. I remember all along that tour people would come up and say, how long have you been together? And we'd be like, this is our seventh show. <laughs> or the next night would be, this is our eighth show. In the journeys in between, we'd be like laughing, you know? We'd just be laughing our heads off that this was happening, you know? Because there was like packed out places and it just seemed so ridiculous. But I don't know, the worst show, this might be, um, what do you think the worst show was? Oh, was that on the first tour? No, no it wasn't. It wasn't. Was okay, New Orleans, El Paso, Knoxville, Tennessee, where we played in the record shop in front of the people that worked there. Nashville was. That's going to be. One of the worst shows. The South really didn't dig us. New Orleans was, like, for me, the most spectacularly bad one because. just because. <laughs> What had happened was like, on this whole tour, like New Orleans was like maybe in the last third of the tour. And um, I drive. And we kept, kept speaking to Lawrence Bell on the phone, oh God, yes. all the time. And he was, there was this whole thing where he was kind of, he wanted to sign us and he'd heard, he'd, he'd heard that there was this buzz going on. And he was starting to sweat, you know, that we were gonna sign to some big label or something. And so he got, on, he got himself on a plane and flew to New Orleans to witness you know, to witness the craziness. <laughs> and then it's like four <laughs> fucking people at the show.
Monday, the 10th of November. We're in Paris, and, and this is going to be our last show tonight for the year. <laughs> It's the last thing for Keep On Your Mean Side. We've been touring it for a year, and it's kind of since we re released the record, it's that's kind of been my life. It's been just being in one room, one hotel room, and then another hotel room, and then another hotel room, and seeing I've seen the inside of a club in every different part of the world. It's kind of difficult to say how I feel right now because I feel like shit because I went out last night and got smashed. If I was to be asked what, how tired I feel, how tiring it's been, I would say it's been dangerously exhausting. Definitely looking forward to going home. You just can't sustain this level of touring for that long, I don't think. But I feel like happy that the way it's gone, I feel I feel like we started off with this we started off in this studio with like you know, just an idea for a record, and now a year later, we've, we're, um, we've toured the whole of the world, and we're here in Paris feeling like shit, you know? It's, it's cool, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna kill.